Okay, so today with me, I have the Dell XPS 13 9310. This is the i7 1185G7 with the XE graphics. It's another Dell XPS. We're gonna see how much Dell has improved from last year. Um, I'm expecting it to be generally the same except for um, an internal refresh. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get with the unboxing. The butcher knife is back. People keep telling me to get a box cutter, but come on guys. Box cutter on this channel? Do I look like a regular YouTuber to you? So once again, before I get started, uh, packaging. You always gotta judge packaging. Um, packaging, it's all right. I would have liked a little bit of uh, nicer tape, but I mean, it'll do. Ah, this is where the real packaging comes in. This is where the real pa package experiences. Ooh, here we go. This is what it got me excited last year. This was, I was not expecting this for uh, Dell products, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this unboxed here. Just like that. Actually, I'm not doing it like that. I'm doing it like this. Right here is the unboxing experience of the Dell XPS. You guys can't see this, but right here it says uh, XPS clean. And here we have the machine so before i talk about this machine let me talk about the things that come inside the box first let's talk about every little thing is everything uh i actually agree with that statement it's pretty factual uh so this is made in china it smells like rubber rubber what does this smell like? This is the, uh, ooh, I like the small charging cable. It smells like paper. And as always, we get a USB-C to USB-A adapter with the Dell XPS lineup. So, ooh, whoop, 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 where's the camera? Right here, there we go. USB-A to USB-C like that from the Dell lineup. Um, but I don't think for Dell laptops, I need to have it plugged in before I boot it up, but we're gonna go ahead and see. But this is the machine you guys have been waiting for. Um, I really do love the Dell XPS 13 in terms of its size and portability. It's something that I would say is actually class leading. Um, but let's go ahead and get it unboxed or unraveled, I should say, or unwrapped. Probably should do this on here. Oh, dumb. Now this is a nice unboxing experience. Ooh, I remember the smell of this, dude. Mmm, the front smells like alcohol, but the bottom smells like I just walked into like Office Max or Office Depot, Staples, and I'm on like aisle eight. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is a pass for me, the top, Smells like someone needs to do their job cleaning. Ooh. Sorry, I'm clapping loud because my God, I forgot how good the XPS 13 looked. Uh, let me show you guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. I just realized the camera's kind of tilted. So let me just, oh, other way. Oh, other way. There we go. There, oop, there, oop, 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 there we go. Man, screw it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get this booted up. Like I said, I don't think Dell laptops need to be powered on or plugged in before they start. Uh, looks like I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to go plug this in because clearly I'm not a competent laptop tech reviewer. Before I actually talk about the machine, let me go ahead and show you guys the ports and see see what you get. As you can see, it's booting up pretty quick. Um, no surprise, Cortana's probably gonna start talking to me in a couple seconds. But as you can see here, we have a USB, actually this is a Thunderbolt 4 port and a headphone jack. And the other side is also a Thunderbolt 4 port and a micro USD slot. Um, but I am going to fact check myself. So uh, let's see here. Uh, actually, instead of looking things up all the time on the internet with Google, how about I just look up the instructions and the stuff they gave me inside the box? Like, come on. So we have a 
Thunderbolt 4 port and a Thunderbolt 4 port. So I was right. And it looks like the speakers are the vents on the side. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, so the vents they're talking about are these right here. So speakers, really nice. XPS logo on the bottom. Venting for the bottom for cooling. Love it. Industrial clean design. Um, so windows. We're still booting up. Colors look really good. I feel like I'm looking into the future. Wow. So, a couple things. So, I'm recently coming off of the Lenovo IdeaPad 3, and it's been a while since I've used the XPS, um, but I would say that the biggest problem I have with the Dell laptops in general is that I always have problems within the first week. So if it can survive the first week without having any problems, I will be happy. So this does have Windows Hello. I'm gonna show you guys, as you can see. So it has Windows Hello with facial recognition. Um, I've said this before and I'll say this again. I always feel like Dell, especially with the XPS lineup, always has problem with me unlocking my face. And it's probably because I'm talking right now. Um, but the XPS 13 last year was having trouble recognizing my face half the time. Um, but we're gonna see if it's going to be a problem this year. So like I said before, this isn't going to be anything revolutionary with the new XPS lineup. Jesus, I just realized how much stuff Windows wants from me. Touchscreen. I mean, when you're paying, how much did I pay for this? I paid way too much for this laptop. Let me be real. How much did I pay for this? $1,500. Holy God almighty. Don't. Listen, my friend is texting me like every 10 minutes because he's watching Full Metal Alchemist for the first time. This guy is on a roller coaster. That's all I can say. It's about time. It's about time, man. Let me see what this guy is saying. Lee. Oh, I, I, I actually can't say anything because this is spoilers. God, he's... I wish I could go back in time and watch Full Metal Alchemist for the first time because the emotional roller coaster I was in in terms of just like psychological, like trying to keep everything, or trying to keep up with everything, like the plot, the characters, whose side am I on? Are they gonna get the Philosopher's Stone? What's the truth? I wish I could go back in time. But Windows is setting up and I don't need to be talking about anime because this is not an anime channel. Moving on, so there is a fingerprint sensor. I think fingerprint sensors on the Dell XPS are pretty solid. Uh, facial recognition with win Windows, hello at the top. We still have our nice, carbon fiber. I can't really tell if they did any improvements on this, um, but for my guess, this feels a lot smoother than last year's. It's probably just to keep from staining, but last year also had a pretty good carbon fiber finish on it as well. Um, we have a all aluminum design on the outside as usual. Um, like I said, I think with the redesign that Dell, that Dell did last year, um, that this laptop is probably going to have this design for a while because it is extremely solid and I don't think many people are going to complain um, with this laptop. It seems like Windows is already done. So yes, I am booted up into Windows already. For some reason, I thought this, I thought this was Windows 11, just from the wallpaper alone. Um, but the keyboard is also backlit, as you can see. And another thing that is really nice is that it is touchscreen. So, yep, there we go. The reason why this is taking so long is because Edge wants to be all fancy and act like it's one of the cool kids. But anyway, moving on, the keyboard, um, I'll do the overhead camera for this one. One thing I like about the Dell XPS keyboard is that it's very muted when typing. It's not very clickety clack and has really nice key travel. So as you can see, or listen, I should say. It's solid. And like I said before, when I compare to my uh, MacBook, even though I do know this is not like a MacBook comparison video. Um, the Dell XPS has a smaller footprint and I know it doesn't look like much on camera, but it really does make a noticeable difference when you hold it in hand. And this feels noticeably smaller than the MacBook Air or the MacBook Pro. So do keep that in mind. And I think this is probably one of the smaller 13 inches as well. First things first, let's go ahead and do a video test, see how the speaker sound and how the display looks. Um, usually I download Chrome, but at this point, Edge is actually a pretty solid browser. These are some nice speakers. These are some nice speakers.
Yeah, these are some nice speakers. And this is a nice looking display. Welcome to what? Paradise? Vacation? Free PTO? Okay, so in terms of this video, wow, it is knocks it out the park. Uh, let's go ahead and watch one of my videos that has okay audio. By the way, that was half volume on the video you watched before. This is going to be max now. Just from this image alone, you'll know that these were the good times of Mac OS. Facts. But today we're gonna to talk about the M1 iMac, my first personal iMac ever. Now, iMacs have a special place in my life because I initially used the G3 in elementary school and failed every single reading comprehension. Um, just like I suspected from last year, speakers are am not amazing um, because I don't wanna like oversell this laptop, but the speakers, like, I don't think people are going to be disappointed with these speakers. These are some of the best speakers I've heard on a Windows laptop, especially in a form factor this small. And I don't have the old XPS to compare it to, but I want to say that these speakers sound better than last year's. So I think Dell also improved in the speaker department as well. Um, so moving on to that, let me go ahead and do a quick old typing test. Yo, this keyboard, this keyboard is solid. Solid, I for, I keep, I, I need to stop using the word solid, but in all seriousness, this keyboard, I know I gave credit to Lenovo with the IdeaPad 3, but this keyboard, I like how comfortable it is typing on this thing. I wish, I let me, how do I explain this keyboard? It's as if I'm typing on pillows compared to other keyboards. That's what it feels like. Um, but as you can tell from the keyboard, it does have the fat left and right and the small up and down arrows. I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, if you care about that, then it is what it is. Like I said, this is your power button, but also your fingerprint sensor as well. Um, so what else do I test on a laptop? I accidentally took a photo instead of a video. So this is the video of the Dell XPS 9310 or the 9130. I, I forgot the naming scheme is so weird to me but this is the 2021 edition or version i should say has the 11th gen intel chips and the video quality in terms of like me as a subject i guess it's really easy for the camera to distinguish between a darker object and a white background or a lighter background um, but as you can see like the piece i have behind me is being overblown but as you can see now that i have my hand over it it starts to I don't know what the word is. I guess the white balance is being fixed. Um, but when it's just my face, you'll see that this part of the screen is gonna be overblown. So for some reason, why are there icons on my desktop? Disgusting. Um, so that is the Dell XPS 13. I would say don't buy this because of my unboxing experience. Please wait till my final review. But I would say without a doubt, this is definitely an improvement from last year's, um, but we're gonna have to see when time tells because I remember last year in my unboxing, I was very over the moon in the honeymoon phase with the Dell XPS, but when it came time to the review, I had a couple complaints because quality control at Dell isn't the best. So I'm hoping that I have a pretty solid um, Dell XPS experience this year. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys found this video informative. If you have any concerns, comments, questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate every sub, like, and comment. And as always, guys, much love. Why do I have a MacBook? Why do I have a MacBook? Okay, so as an idiot, I... I'm an idiot. I call myself an idiot.